Does an all-red Heartbreaker build trump an all-red Striker build? To get answers, we literally use these builds to speedrun legendary strongholds over and over. Let's go. All red Heartbreaker builds are absolutely beast when it comes to damage, but since the devs fixed the Heartbreaker gear set, many have been wondering if it still trumps the Striker gear set. Comparing the two in the range shows a small disparity between the two all red sets. Using the exact same setup on both with the same stats, Striker's max crit is 1.3 million with 11.6 million DPS. Heartbreaker gives us a max crit of 1.7 million with 11.9 DPS. So, in the range, Heartbreaker outperforms Striker. But the testing range doesn't tell the whole story now, does it? The Heartbreaker set no longer stacks against tech, like tanks. So if you test this in the field, you might get a different result. Before the devs made changes to this set, the team and I ran all red Heartbreaker builds to speed run District Union Arena in 22 minutes. For this test, I ran the same setup against an identical all red four piece striker. For legendaries, I prefer the police M4 for speed and accuracy, so I didn't use the Kingbreaker. Otherwise, anything related to damage is the same for each run. Hey, so you know, we are not speedrunners. The gameplay you're seeing is from the legendary speedruns for the average Joe, a series I put on to show the community that if we can do it this fast and casually, then so can you. As part of the series, we clear all the legendary strongholds provide the basic builds we use and easy to follow playbooks so you and your crew can take down legendaries quickly this was all done live on twitch where i create and test all my builds in unedited gameplay be sure to follow me over there too here are the results i ran striker three times for this test and the figures were consistent so if i took all the runs and averaged them together i got 85 kills with 57 percent accuracy and 1924 million in damage with an average time of 23 minutes 10 seconds if you like out of cover fast-paced ar builds you gotta try this one i made for the savage wolverine shout out to all the banditos and texas players club for supporting the channel and the division 2 community and all the ways that you do to say thank you i create extra builds like this one for texas players club as member perks you can find all of your member perks in this playlist at the top of my channel homepage. make sure your notifications are turned on too if you're not part of texas players club it's time you join this strong positive community. Link here in the corner and in the description area below. Before Heartbreaker was nerfed, I got 105 kills, negative 1942 million damage, so off the charts, 63% accuracy, and a time of 22 minutes and 5 seconds. That's dramatically better than the Striker set, but after they fixed Heartbreaker, I got 70 kills with it, 1929 million in damage, 57% accuracy, and a 22-21 minute time. With damage being the most important factor for for this test, the results show us that an all red Heartbreaker no longer trumps out Striker, at least in legendary difficulty. Before the devs changes, the disparity between Striker and Heartbreaker was massive. Now the set produces basically the same damage results as Striker. If you went by what the testing range said about DPS, you'd conclude Heartbreaker would be the best. If you went by highest crit, you'd conclude Heartbreaker would crush Striker gameplay but that wasn't the case dps is the better measure and it wasn't high enough in the testing range for it to be conclusive in the field i could feel the difference between the sets in every kill and what might surprise you is that immediately after running both during legendary speedrun testing i made the call when the impressions were fresh and before comparing the numbers for me striker is better if i'm going all red I have more flexibility on the specialization and the set stacks on everything, no limits, and the time to kill just felt better. And the kill count outcome consistently showed me that. But with the numbers being so close to the same, I must say my conclusion is very subjective. I did adjust my play with the Heartbreaker set. Basically, I avoided shooting at the tanks because they use a ton of ammo and don't pay me back with stacks. So if I play it as I normally do with the Heartbreaker set, and actually shot at the tanks, my damage numbers and kill count would have probably been actually lower than the final results. That said, you can still speedrun with the nerfed Heartbreaker set and achieve these awesome times. Look, if you think about it, the changes to this set puts it in its rightful place. Make it all red, 
it doesn't shine. The bonus armor values it gives when it's all red are worthless. Add armor, now it shines. You see, the bonus armor the set gives you is what makes it truly unique. It's what always made it unique. It's just that before it was so overpowered that it also outshined other all red builds. I still think it's a bummer it doesn't stack on certain tech though. Okay, so I hope this helps you prioritize your builds in the future. This is the Fast and Furious Savage Wolverine build. Check it out now.